Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is Time as a Weapon, when death will flee. Brothers and sisters, we must understand that the enemy will use any weapon that he can find to overcome the saints. And that includes the 144,000 during trumpets. He will use all at his disposal, everything that he can master. Brothers and sisters, and one of his weapons is time. We talked about many times, we said that the enemy will flee from his judgment through the loops. That is already using time as a weapon. But there's another time when he will use time as a weapon. When you go and look into the trumpet tribulation and you see that the abyss is opened. And the abyss opening is, in my opinion, clearly an opening of a dimension is already somewhere related to time and space. So when this abyss is opened, then the creatures that will come out of the abyss that the world has never seen before, who were bound or hold in that dimension, they will come now into our time here on earth, into our dimension. And for five months, they will torment. They will torment the ones who have not the seal of God on their foreheads, who are not part of the 144,000. Why five months? Maybe that is the maximum that this abyss can stay open. During that time, I believe that the abyss will stay open for five months. And in this time frame, it is written in the scripture, brothers and sisters, it is written in the scripture that people will seek death, but death will flee away. How is that possible? What, what has changed in that moment in time that there is no death? There is no ending. Put it this way. There is no ending. You can try to kill yourself, but you cannot die. Why? What has changed? Time was used as a weapon. So when you try to kill yourself and you try to seek an end, yoop, you will go back to the beginning. So you cannot find an ending. That's what I have told you before through the masterpiece of the end times. That at this time we have circular time. In circular time there is no ending. You, can, you try to finish in one place, but immediately in the other one you, you, are, you are back again. That is using time as a weapon. And the scriptures are clear. When death will flee, who is the master of death? It's the devil. So he will use time as a weapon so that this five months will be used to his perfect, for his perfect timing. And that he will inflict as much as damage as possible during this five months. That nobody can escape this torment except the ones who have the mark of the Father on their foreheads. We must understand that the weapon, the time will be used for good for the kingdom of God. That is a duality, but that is also be used on the bad side from the enemy. And death will flee them. It's clearly stated in the scripture. That means something must have been changed in time. There is no ending. In normal linear time, we have a start, we have the past, we have the present, and we have the future. And we know there is death coming. It's all linear. A death must occur. And it will occur. But in circular time, when everything goes round, 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 where is the ending? Where is the end in the circle, brothers and sisters? Where is this? You see, that is also why it's said in the scripture, at the end, when Jesus has a millennium kingdom and even going further to the new heaven and new earth, the day will come when death has no sting anymore. After he has his last rebellion, 
Millennium Kingdom finished, Satan comes up, he makes the last rebellion, then he will go down into the lake of fire, and then sting. Death has no sting anymore. How? Every linear time has an ending. Every linear time must have death. Then we are completely in circular time, where death has no sting anymore. In seals, we see a lot of death occurring. Because there, as we have said through the masterpiece, there we are still in linear time. Death is occurring all over the place, including the persecution of the Christian under the Antichrist. That's all in seals, and it will all come. Even Antichrist himself will die during the war against the mountain. That's all seals. They are still linear time. They are still an ending possible. But in trumpets, we will have, I don't know, we can say partial circular and partial linear. But the time when the abyss opened for this five months, it's, it's circular. And in the hand of the enemy, death will flee. You will not be able to die. You might kill yourself. But once you have killed yourself, you will find yourself again in the place where you started. And all the torment continues for five months. Time will be used as a weapon, and you have to be clear about it. The only one who can stand against this is the, is the seal of the Father on the four the 140,000. Why? Because they are in a supernatural body and they have supernatural abilities. So they can stand against this time weapon. They are the only ones who can. The rest will be tormented for five months. Not killed. Nothing will be harmed on the world for the trees and the grass and everything. Only the people. Like the sting of a scorpion. Very painful. Five months pain. And you cannot run away from it. You cannot kill yourself. You will be back and pain will continue. All this time will be used as a weapon. And moreover, we, can, we also read that in the passages in Mark and Matthew, where they said, if the Lord will not cut time short, then no soul would be saved. There you see also that time is used as a weapon. And God himself must cut it short must take away this weapon from the enemy so that everything can come to fruition and that the Millennium Kingdom can be started. This is important for the end of the loops in seals and for the end of the loop in, in trumpets. It's very important to have the understanding that time will be used as a weapon. And of course, we know that because the enemy has already told us this through his dream works, like what you see here in this image. It's a dagger of time. It was used in one of the production that the enemy brought forth to tell the world what is coming, because he knows, he knows much better than our churches. A dagger of time. If you cut off the end, then you always be at the beginning. You see, when you cut off death, you cannot die. And that is what we see in the scripture. Many people do not understand the book of Revelation completely because they do not have this understanding of looping, of time changes, of portals opening, of the power. And especially they do not understand the duality. I always have told you, brothers and sisters, that what the enemy is using, doing seals with the doctrines of Lucifer and the Antichrist, and doing, doing trumpets with Satan himself when he has fallen from heaven, is all what they know from where they are coming from. And from where are they coming from? Even the fallen angels, from where were they coming? From the third heaven. Everything what they have used here, even in old times, on earth, to gene manipulation and whatever they have done, they have all brought from the knowledge from the kingdom of heaven. It was all produced for good, but there is also evil. We know that. We have the, 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 the tree of good and evil in the garden, created by the Father. 
only that we should not have known about it. But then Satan made it so that we understand good and evil. And then the problem began, of course. So what Satan is using is all technology, it's all understanding, wisdom and power and glory from the third heaven. All what he knows. But once he is on earth, he has only the resources of the earth to, to, to use. So he will be limited with what he can do. And you also need to understand that it is not ancient aliens who are come, but interdimensional beings. And that the place where they are stored now, called Tartarus or whatever they say, it, is a dimension where these creatures or entities are stored. And when they are both open, it's a connection to that dimension for five months. And then the scorpion-like figures will come out and torment the people. And time will be used as a weapon. Brothers and sisters, understand that there is so much that we do not see. But there is much more under the heavens than that we can even imagine. This connection to the dimension and most likely what we have already spoken before of this unlimited number of different dimensions with different outcomes. And we are just in one of them. So when you use time as a weapon, you can shift people, loop them in one to the other one, coming back to bring forth. All this will be possible. Not now. But once the portal opens in heaven, we know from the book of Revelation that this is a moment in time when everything will begin. Revelation chapter 4 verse 1 And I saw a door standing open in heaven. And that is a moment when everything began for John. That's a moment when everything started. Because heaven had merged with the earth if you want to put it on a smaller level, where well, two dimensions have connected. Then, of course, it will have an impact. When that door opens, it will have an impact on the earth. And you see it in Psalm 18. The foundation will be laid bare. Earthquakes will be there. The waters will roar. Something will come down onto the earth that makes the people afraid. It's written in Luke. And Luke, we know, is for the end of the seven years for the whole seven years of course but this special verse is for the end of the seven years and the people will be afraid and that's the moment in time when you are called with the rock in the storm but the enemy whenever he can he will use time as a weapon very interesting point that the Lord is raising to reveal to us so that we are prepared. At that time, you will be standing there. If you are standing there at that time of death fleeing, then be 144,000 so that nothing can touch you. Otherwise, it will be a great punishment and a lot of pain. But I pray that you who are listening to this video are all accounted worthy either to escape right now in the escape of the innocent or to be part of the multitude closed and white that will be ruptured into paradise so that you will not reach trumpets and that you will not be subjected to Satan on earth because that will be a terrible time. Seal will be already difficult, very, very difficult with wars and famines and pestilences and death and hate is coming over the earth and there you see death is still there but trumpets better seek the Lord and return into his open arm and give up the world just live in it yes you have to live in it because you are still in the world but you are not of the world you belong to the kingdom of heaven Seek the Father, 
his kingdom and his righteousness first and everything else will be given to you. Stand ready. Have the understanding that at certain points in the tribulation, time will be used as a word. Stand ready to be a powerful warrior in the remnant army of New Zion and the great harvest workers. And then some of you will be also very powerful 144,000 who will fulfill their destiny during trumpets. Do not worry. Once you are these people, you are protected by God. The problem is, you will see so many tormented people and you can't do much about it. Because the scripture must be fulfilled. We will see a lot of deaths during seals. Scriptures must be fulfilled. Important is in this time to listen to the voice of the Father, as Jesus has done in his first coming. To walk as an image of Jesus Christ on earth, as a true son or daughter of the Father. To listen to the Father and to, to be guided by him to seek the lost sheep. Whatever soul we can rescue, we need to rescue, to bring forth the multitude clothed and white. For the rest, the Lord will give you a strong heart. Even when you see all this suffering, when you see all this death, you have a mission to fulfill. You have to guide the sheep home. No weapon formed is written in the scripture. Understand this. No weapon formed will overtake the saints. No weapon formed will take down the remnant army of New Zion. And that includes the weapon of time. Stand ready. It's time now. We are just waiting for the opening of the portal. Then everything will begin very quickly. The old times are coming to an end. And if it's today, or tomorrow, or the day after, or on the 15th, whatever it is, the portal will open. That portal has appeared to many people in prophecies. Not only to me, I had several visions of it. And I've told you about it. And many of you can testify that they have also received visions of portals. It's important, because that is the beginning. You need to have a connection between heaven and earth. There was a connection between heaven and earth as the resurrection of Jesus Christ. There was a connection between heaven and earth, Mount Sinai, when God came down on the mountain. There was a, have, a connection between heaven and earth at the burning bush experience with Moses, and so forth, and so forth. Now it's time to open that portal again. Oh, I'm looking forward to all of this transformation and to receive the mantle of light and to start finally with everything, with enough resources so that I can also build the safe haven and everything else that belongs to it. So that the harvest can not only be gathered, but also be stored and secured until the time when the 144,000 are sealed and they then can come and help us, come and help the harvest workers to bring in the multitude closed and white to Mount Zion. That's the last moments at that time then. 2028 to 2029. Brothers and sisters, there's a harvest waiting for us. And also we are aware that the enemy will use many weapons, including time as a weapon. We know and understand that no weapon form will overcome the remnant. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.